Hi, my name is Dan, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add components to a Blueprint class. So I've just got a third-person uh, standard templates up. I've uh, created a Blueprint class that I've just called uh, my BP. Um, I'm going to open that up so we can have a look at it. Oh, open for Blueprint Editor. It's detected there's nothing in there. Um, before we mess about in there, I'm just going to uh, minimize that and drag... Uh, one of the objects into my level. Uh, there we go. So we can see it. Uh, back to the editor. Now, uh, what we want is the viewport. This shows us what things that we've got inside our Blueprint class. We can put all sorts of things and attach them uh, as part of the class. Uh, this blob that we've got that we see here is what's called the default scene root, which is just a, a white ball. Um, and it's just so that if we don't have any uh, visible elements in our Blueprint class, then we can see where it is in the level where it's been positioned. Um, and you can replace that. Uh, most people just leave that there. Um, but we can add more things to this class. There's all sorts of things we can add. So um, one of the fairly standard things to add is a, a static mesh. I'm just going to leave the... Uh, the name as it is, and I'm just going to, I've got the starter content, I'm just going to use the couch for the starter content in there, right, just zoom it, you can see we've added the couch there. Um, we can use the standard uh, manipulation tools to uh, move it around and scale it, uh, turn it around if we want to. Right, the next thing I'm going to add is, so I'm going to highlight the default scene root again so that all my elements are children of the default scene root rather than children of each other. Uh, so the next component I'm going to add is a collision component, which is a box collider. Uh, and this, I'm going to scale up a bit, because what I want this to do is to be a, a box that will detect if the player comes close to this seat. I'm just going to lift this up again. Uh, lift this up. There we go. Let's have a bit of a look around. How's that? Maybe we want to turn a bit wider. There we go. So that's going to be a proximity detection. In this video, I'm not going to use that. Uh, I'm just showing you how to put that in. Um, I'm also going to add... Um, where are we? I'm going to add a, a particle effect. Particle system. Um, this is one of the old cascade particle systems, and I'm going to add the fire there. Um, that's one of the starter content systems. I'm just going to move that up so it looks like the bench itself is on fire. Um, then finally, I'm going to add a sound component, so audio, and I'm going to find the, come on, find the fire sound. Click Compile, and all those elements have now appeared uh, on my instance of the class, which is there in the level. I'm just going to quickly turn that around so it's facing in the direction. And now that those elements are part of that uh, class, if I drag another one in, all the elements are there. And we just click Play and go into Play. Yes, we can hear the sound. Oh, look, I've got my bench so that it's floating above the air in this one. Uh, but this one, is, it's got its feet below the below the ground. So I haven't quite got my alignment right there. Um, but we've got the collision box, which doesn't actually do anything at the moment. So we've got the fire, we've got the, the bench, we've got the sound that we can hear from the fire. All of those elements are part of the Blueprint class that I've created. Okay, that's it from me. Mm -hmm.